Radio Garage back on the bench. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, once again. There's my contact information. Anybody's looking uh, to have anything done, Radio Garage at gmail.com for all your CV and export radio um, service and repair needs. Just thought I'd mention that. And on the bench today, we got a uh, GPS Discipline Oscillator. This is the BG7 TBL unit. You get these off eBay. They run about uh, 125 to I think like $110, somewhere around there. They get shipped straight from China. And I think it took me about um, maybe like maybe about a month or so, three weeks to a month to get the unit once I ordered it. So basically what this is guys is a 10 megahertz reference. So it's gonna get a uh, signal from GPS satellites up in orbit there. Um, I think it's taken uh, samples from like 15 different satellites um, up there in space so signal comes down through the antenna right here I just have this you know um, routed next to the outside and it comes in through here and then from here you can run your output 10 megahertz uh, reference output to uh, any piece of equipment that you want to check so it comes in real handy for checking frequency counters and if you're doing alignments on CB radios um, you're gonna need a, a good solid reference so either you gotta have a a frequency counter that's been uh, recently calibrated that's in calibration or you gotta have something that you can line up your frequency counter with something like a uh, known accurate reference like a GPS uh, discipline oscillator or rubidium oscillator something like that rubidium oscillator guys is going to be like three times as much money as this okay so this is a lot cheaper and just as accurate if you look it up these things are um, just as accurate if not if not even more accurate and what's inside here is a uh, crystal oven I think it might be a double oven in these I'm not positive on that but what they're doing is taking um, decommissioned cell tower uh, units um, you know cell sites cell towers stuff like that they get upgraded they pull these units it's, you know it's just like a, a small oscillator in there they stick it in a box like this, and then they uh, they use it for for repur you know they repurpose it for something like this. So now you have a good solid 10 meg reference. You could line up. Say you want to buy a a used frequency counter off eBay, something like that. You know you get an old counter. It's not calibrated. You don't know how far off it is, whatnot. So. You hook that into your new counter, you check the output, that's what I'm doing right here, I'm showing you guys, this thing's right on, alright, 10 right across the board, all 8 digits lined up, so I know my counter is good, um, so now when I line up a radio, I know it's lined up accurately, so um, it's really handy guys, uh, you know, if you don't want to keep sending sending your counter out, say you, you buy a counter, it's calibrated. Next time around, you don't want to send it out, you know, calibration's up. You buy yourself one of these, and then you could do it. You could do it yourself, or uh, you know, it's just good for for checking different equipment. I could hook it up to my uh, CMU 200 here. All right, the comms tester. I could hook it up to my RF signal generator to check that. So a bunch of different things you could do with it. Keep all your equipment in line. Keep it in check. Stuff like that. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, you know, it's just a, a handy piece of equipment. 
to be on a bench. Just thought I'd share it. I keep this thing on 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week. It's on lock. I guess I should go over that real quick. Them three lights there. Um, alarm is when that top light, that red LED, would be if I plug it in and it's cold. That'll be flashing. And GPS lock, I believe, will be flashing. And then it'll lock on. And then it goes solid on lock. And then run is, is what uh, keeps flashing. And then you could also hook these up. It's got a port here to a computer. And you could see the satellites that it's hitting off of. Um, and it'll show you some more information, stuff like that. But, you know, as far as if you're running sideband, you do a lot of sideband, you want to make sure your rig's on. Um, you know, this is going to come in handy for that to get your counter on so that your rig's on. That's what it all comes down to, guys. You line up a radio, you line it up off another radio. I know a lot of guys do that off a bench radio. Well, how do you know that bench radio is on? You know, it's just it's a domino effect. You line up one thing is off, then everything's off. So it all starts with the 10 meg reference then everything falls into place after that um, also have kind of a I keep these in the corner here guys you probably have seen them on the bench before this, um, I, I keep them over there normally but I have them pulled out here for you to see this is kind of a companion unit um, it's also by DG7 TBL it's the frequency counter kind of a a nice little go along unit. I might do a separate little review on this, but nothing, nothing really going on here. It's got, it's got some extra info you could get from it. Channel two, channel one, and then it's got some extra info you could, you could see. And also, I, what I like about this is it has the, um, the power that is getting put into it when you do hook up to channel one, say. Um, I know like I've, I've used this as a regular frequency counter when I'm not using the B and K and it'll say like uh, you know that negative four what's this negative 48 it'll go jump up to something like plus 10 plus 20 something like that you know you're not you know you're in the safe zone this way whatever you're feeding into it it only needs a small sample but uh, it actually does need a bigger sample than than what this takes so it's not quite as sensitive as something like this. Obviously, this is this is a lot. This was a lot more money um, than this, but you know, it's still it's still nice, still handy. So uh, it's always good to have a couple counters on the bench. What I'd like to do next is I'm probably going to line up this this uh, inline through line counter with this. And I think I'm going to do a video on that. I'll show the input, um, or I'm sorry, the output going into the input of, of that counter. And I'll make sure that's on. Um, this way, if you're running mobile, something like that, you check your frequency. It's nice to have in the mobile, something like that. So, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up before we get too carried away here. Appreciate everybody sticking around if you, if you made it this far. Thank you, and Radio Garage, we are off the key.